we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section vector algebra this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 28th june 2022 in the second shift the given question is related to the area of a given parallelogram and related questions the given question is let the vector a is equal to alpha i plus 2j minus k and vector b is equal to minus 2i plus alpha j plus k where alpha is the real number if the area of the parallelogram whose adjacent sides are represented by the vectors a and b is under the square root of 15 multiplied by in brackets alpha square plus 4 then the value of 2 times mod a square plus a dot b times mod b square is equal to required to find the value of 2 times mod a square plus a dot b times mod b square we are we are given four options these are the four options we are given a vector a vector b where alpha is a real number and it is given that the area of the parallelogram whose adjacent sides are the vectors a and b is given to be under the square root of 15 times in brackets alpha square plus 4 required to find the value of 2 times mod a square plus a dot b times mod b square we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have the vector a and the vector b where alpha is a real number we are given the area of the parallelogram whose adjacent sides are the vectors a and b is under the square root of 15 times in brackets alpha square plus 4 and uh, the formula for the area of the parallelogram whose adjacent sides are a and b is given by mod of a cross b so mod of a cross b is equal to under the square root of 15 times multiplied by alpha square plus 4 squaring on both sides we get mod of a cross b square is equal to 15 times alpha square plus 4 let's call this as the equation 1 now we have a we have b we will find a cross b now a cross b is equal to the determinant i j k this is the first row the second row the components of a the components of a are alpha 2 minus 1 third row are the components of b minus 2 alpha 1 now expand this determinant by its first row we get i multiplied by 2 plus alpha minus j into alpha minus 2 plus k into alpha square plus 4 so this is your a cross b vector right mod of take the modulus square on both sides mod of a cross b square is equal to alpha plus 2 whole square plus alpha minus 2 whole square plus alpha square plus 4 whole square and that is equal to alpha plus 2 whole square plus alpha minus 2 whole square is 2 times under 2 2 times multiplied by alpha square plus 4 and plus this term is alpha square plus 4 whole square now one will imply in the one we have mod of a cross b square is 2 times alpha square plus 4 plus alpha square plus 4 whole square is equal to 15 times alpha square plus 4 when simplified we'll get 13 times alpha square plus 
is equal to alpha square plus 4 whole square. This will imply alpha square plus 4 is 13. Yes. Cancelling on both sides. Al the factor alpha square plus 4 and alpha square plus 4 for any value of alpha is never 0. Therefore, you can cancel on both sides. Thus, we get alpha square plus 4 is equal to 13. And from this, you get alpha square is equal to 9. The value of alpha we have obtained. We continue in the next slide. We have the vector A, vector B. And alpha is a real number which we have already evaluated. The, alpha, the value is given by alpha square is equal to 9. Now, required to find 2 times mod A square plus A dot B times mod B square. Now, we compute mod A square. Now, mod A square is equal to modulus of the vector alpha I plus 2J minus K whole square. That is equal to alpha square plus 2 square plus minus 1 whole square. Simplified, you get alpha square plus 5. Mod beta square is mod of the vector B is minus 2i plus alpha j plus k square. And uh, when you take mod square, you will get uh, minus 2 square plus alpha square plus 1 square. When simplified, you will get alpha square plus 5. A dot B, the vector A is written dot vector B. Now, when you take the dot product, you will get minus 2 alpha plus 2 alpha minus 1. So 2 alpha minus 2 alpha cancels and you will get minus 1. Now let us go and substitute in this 2 into mod a square plus a dot b times mod b square. Just substitute. So 2 times mod a square is alpha square plus 5. a dot b is minus 1 times mod b square is alpha square plus 5. Now when simplified you will get alpha square plus 5. And the value of alpha square which we have already obtained in the previous slide and alpha square is equal to 9. Substitute 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. And that is the required answer. And let us look at our options. Our answer for 2 times mod a square plus a dot b times mod b square is equal to 14 appears against option D. Therefore, the answer to this question is option D. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem from the vector algebra and it is a very easy problem. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.